Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are heading back to Victorian London with some Sherlock Holmes themed puzzles. We've got three different puzzles here, all with unique solutions to them. These certainly aren't high end puzzles. They're down the more affordable end of the spectrum when it comes to the puzzling world, but they're still a great option for those who are just getting started or as a gift for someone that maybe doesn't have that much puzzling experience. So join me as we take on the case of the smoking pipe. So this is the case of the smoking pipe. It also comes with some other matchstick challenges in the box here as well. So you get a kind of extra little set of challenges on top of the puzzle itself. So the case of the smoking pipe, this is a simple looking puzzle. The aim of which is to remove the ash, which is sitting here in the pipe as a separate piece from the pipe itself. But there's several rules to this one that make it extra challenging. You're not allowed to touch the pipe and you're not allowed to use any external tools. So you might think you have to use your telekinetic powers in order to get this out, but the solution is actually really simple. It uses a simple principle, and once you've discovered it, you're gonna kick yourself, but all you need to do to solve this one is blow downwards onto the ash. And that is how you solve the case of the smoking pipe. So this puzzle is called the case of the treasury safe. The aim is to try and free a coin, or a token as they call it, from the sliding tile maze. And I've taken the liberty of setting this one up, so you can see we've got these different sizes of tiles within the frame here. It's got a map of London on it, I believe, and the aim is to get this largest block, which is a two by two square, down into this position, at which point we should free the token. So let's have a bash at this and see just how difficult it is. So you can move all these pieces around fairly easily. They slide in the um, thing really nicely. And you can see there's a map here. I'm not sure if we should be using the map as a guide to try and help us, or if it's just a case of moving the pieces around until you get the correct solution. So there's multiple different solutions to this one, I believe, and lots of different ways of getting there. Let's see if we can find one of them. Finally, finally, finally. It's looking good. This one out of the way. And we have the coin. So what I thought would be about a two minute job turned out to be about 15 or 20 minutes. So really cool, uh, difficult sliding puzzle, unless I was making an absolute meal out of that one. But that was the case of the Secret Society. So, so the last puzzle I'd like to look at today is this one. It's the case of the treasury safe, a puzzle box that we've got to try and crack into. And it's got several steps to it. They are relatively simple steps, so not an overly complex puzzle, but as I mentioned at the start of the video, these are great if you're just starting your puzzling journey and you just want something that's approachable and affordable. The build quality of these ones certainly not kind of high end like you'd expect from the Karakuri or some of the other high end puzzle box makers, but for what they are, I think they're great value for money. So the first step to this one is to discover the movable pieces. So there's no panels that will slide around the box, although there is this piece here that will lift up. So there's a flap on the side here that lifts up, but it doesn't go any further than that. And also this dial in the center. So we can spin this dial either direction. It seems to move pretty freely. And you'll notice as I move it into this position, this little piece here drops down, given the extra space, it drops into that space. And you can actually move the piece on the other side as well and move that into the available space. So once we've done this, this opens a catch and we can then move this panel fully open to about 90 degrees here. Whereas before it would only just move slightly. That allows this panel on the top here to slide and we can then move a panel here out a little bit. In order to move this fully out, we just need to make sure that this top piece is into the fully extended position down there. Then this piece will simply slide right out the panel on the top is then free to come off and we've cracked the case of the treasury safe and found what I believe is the treasury note. So there we have it, three Sherlock Holmes themed puzzles. I'd love to know which one your favorite is. If you want to check them out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. But that's it for today's video. Happy puzzling and I'll see you in the next one.